guys welcome to my channel this is a general reading for the sign of pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them i want to thank everyone for the love and support that they have given me towards my channel and for my new subscribers welcome if this reading resonates with you please like share and subscribe remember to click the bell so you get alerts when videos are posted so first i would like to invite the holy spirit into my area to give this reading light and love next i would like to ring the singing bowl just to give this reading positive energy and positive vibes So oh, Pisces, some of you guys have been under so much pressure that it feels like your head is about to pop off. Like you're just going through a lot. You're trying to figure things out. You're trying to move forward. You're feeling good, but you just still feel the pressure, the pressure of all the stuff that's going on. So while meditating on your reading i came up with the thought like about a diamond pressure makes diamonds you take some carbon you put it under pressure and you make diamonds all right i'm not going to take these damn cards i guess we'll take them all prices you are always falling out with cards Okay, so that's only three, so we'll go with that. Okay, I mean, yeah. So the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is like boredom, not satisfied, discontent, feeling stuck. Something's just not quite right. The King of Pentacles is like, like wealth, business, leadership, security, discipline, and abundance. He is the card of material success. This is like a symbol all you have built through your efforts of determination. He's very serious about financial security. And you have made an accumulation of wealth. You're very proud of your achievements. Okay, so the star card. The star is like vision, hope, guidance, seeking a direction, like following your instincts, your gut. The star is the embodiment of hope, hope and healing. That's like you need to do what you can to restore your mind, body, and soul. You need like a, like a calming influence. It brings a message of renewal, optimism, optimism, and inspiration. So it means right now that the universe is working out in your favor. And it's encouraging you to have faith. Faith in your direction and faith in where you're going. Things will be okay. It's reminding you to take it easy, to calm down. Like what I was telling you about the pressure. Pressure makes diamonds. And then we have the lovers. The lovers is like love, relationships, relationship choices. The lovers card comes up when you're at a crossroads and must consider the possible consequences of your choices heart and soul desires. 
So right now, Pisces, I'm feeling like you're feeling bored and discontent and stuck and maybe stressed out, overwhelmed a little bit. But you're working on your money situation. Your money situation is coming to a great conclusion right now. Your money situation is coming to a great conclusion. The love situation is coming to a great conclusion. Either you have love or some is coming in, but you're open right now, Pisces. Those of you who are single, you're good because you're you're... You made the choice to do what you want to do. So you made the choice to continue to move forward. You don't, you're not worried about love. You're working on your money. Those of you who are in a sitting sitting pattern, you're a little bored. But you need to be okay with the fact that right now you are where you are and you're on the right path. You are where you need to be at, at this time in life. Both of you. So that's what that should be telling you. So, you're feeling forced to grow. You're feeling uncomfortable. Um, extremely high pressures are used to create diamonds. Meaning, like you going through some stuff, which you, you become a greater person at the end. The best things are not, the best things are made, like the pressure refers to the hardship or the adversity. Um, think you're being tested. That's what it feels like just in some of the things and it's causing you, it was causing you a lot of pressure. But at this point in time, you're being transformed, Pisces, into something different, a beautiful diamond. made to shine, made to excel, made to show your growth, made to show your transformation, made to show your change. The potential to become great. So with all the pressures of the world on you and changing you and molding you, you should be thankful for this pressure because without it, you wouldn't be able to shine or to excel or become the brilliant gemstone that you are or you're going to be or you're going to become to shine bright like a star or a diamond like Pisces the pressure you're under just in everyday life or just the general things that you go through are building you it's creating the character it's creating your character it's building you so some of the things might have been hard, Pisces, but without that, there would be no you now. So some of these people and some of these situations, right, bam, high priestess, Pisces, you. Doesn't matter, female, male, high priestess. So the high priestess is like intuition, subtle changes, divine law. This card is awareness of some subconscious. This card urges you to listen to your inner voice and follow your instincts and intuition. There are things happening right now behind the scenes, Pisces. There are some secrets that are not being divulged to, to you. You know far more than you think you do and you need to trust yourself. When this card arises, you need to stop and look. Stop looking for answers on the outside of you and look on the inside because, Pisces, you have the answer. You have all the answers. You know what you need to do and how you need to do it. Just stand still, think about it, and then go forward. Trust your intu intuition. Trust your instincts. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is like you're working hard. You're being very diligent. You're winning the battle through courage, hard work, and action. It's bringing you a new perspective, Pisces. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is hardworking, diligent, dedicated, committed. Somebody's working on a project. Or somebody has a project that is due and they're working hard at it. But they need a um, fresh perspective. 
So whatever your project is, you might be feeling a little stuck right now and you just, you know, need, maybe you know, I need to talk to somebody or think about it, but, or just take time, take time, have a seat and think about some things and then maybe it'll come to you. So right now you're feeling, you're working hard. You're learning from your experiences. You're getting the job done. You're dedicated, you're committed to all of these things. You're committed to your new life, your new love, your new relationship. Single Pisces, you're committed to your money and trying to, well, everybody's committed to their money, but single Pisces, you're committed to your future, your money, trying to build by yourself and trying to become a better whole person and trying to get yourself together. You're dealing with your loves, your family, your friends, you're having more interaction with them. So you're creating those type of relationships. you rather build with your family, friends, kids, that type of thing. Pisces that are in love, um, don't get stagnant. Like, don't get bored with your situation. Try to get out and live your life and do a couple of things. Like, have some fun. You made all this money. You're working on your money. Use it to have a little enjoyment with your significant other. Um, Pisces, either you're hiding the secret or somebody else is hiding the secret from you. So there is something that you need to kind of figure out. Maybe it's you, Pisces, because you're in your head about something. You're feeling like tied up. So the Eight of Swords is about, you feel like your hands are tied. Negative thoughts. You're blaming yourself. Self-imposed restrictions. Imprisonment. Like victim mentality. You may be overthinking some things or creating negative patterns in your mind. You're limiting yourself by only considering the worst case scenario. Um, you're doing the same thing, thinking about the same thoughts and increasing the hold the situation has on you. So you need a new perspective as well. So apparently somebody right now is in their thoughts, they're in their head, they're thinking about something that is causing them an issue. And it probably has something to do with this money. Right now, Pisces, you have to look at all avenues. So if you're down to the wire, like with maybe some of your cash or whatever, um, and you know that there's a situation moving forward or that you're waiting on this money that's about to come in, Pisces, um, maybe some of the, the different perspective is you have credit cards maybe, right? But you don't have the cash on hand. So maybe you could transfer some of the cash from your credit card to your account and then you have both. You have the cash and the credit, okay? So that's like the thing. So you might have one of one thing and not both, but not, that's just a different way to gain both things. So that's like, you need a new perspective, a fresh perspective. And you have two of those things, two cards saying that. So somebody's a little stuck and they're creating a situation in their head, in their mind. And it's bothering them. So Pisces, I think I want to give you one more card. Pisces, keep pushing yourself. I know things feel difficult. Things feel hard. Keep pushing yourself. Um, the Pisces that's a little worried, I need for you to be careful because it seems like you're having a couple of issues that could be health related from being so stressed out. So be careful with that. Drink lots of water and remember to try to just woo -saw throughout the day. Like things are not as bad as you actually think. It feels worse than what it is because you're creating the restrictions in your mind. And somebody's moving. Yep, Pisces, whoever this is, you're all in your head. You're having nightmares. So you have the Nine of Swords. Anxiety, worry, fear, depression, nightmares. You're worrying excessively about a situation and your negative thoughts are getting the better of you. It's leaving you stressed, stressed and anxious. You need to find something to take your mind off the stress and worries. Something physical. Like exercise in Pisces, you need to exercise. All Pisces right now, Pisces alert, physical therapy, we need to kind of like really get 
ourselves healthy, like whatever's healthy for your body. I'm not meaning like, you know, pencil thin or, you know, just, just whatever's healthy for your body. This stress right here, this anxiety, these self-imposed restrictions, Pisces, is going to bring you some health issues. So you need to kind of like really divert your thinking elsewhere. So I don't know how you're going to be able to do that. Exercise is definitely a good one, though. So you need to kind of figure this thing out, Pisces, because it's getting like um, getting serious. And you don't want to end up having a stroke or having, you know, something negative happen because you're in your head and you're thinking about all these things that could potentially never even happen. You need to kind of like think about the here and now, stay in the here and now, Pisces, because it seems like um, just some of the things are really, really bothering you. And you're definitely in your head about it. Somebody is working hard in school as well. Like they are trying to um, further their ed education, maybe get their match master's or bachelor's degree. Oh God. Okay. Well, we're, that was an epic fail right there. Um, get their master's or their, um, their bachelor's or their master's degree or something. But um, you stay at it. You've been having a lot of sleep this night because of you're getting your work done. Okay, Pisces, last card, two of cups. Love, soulmate, friendship, soul connections. This is just like your celebration card. Like you are, somebody's in love, period. Like somebody has very deep feelings for someone. And maybe that's what's causing them to worry because they're feeling like they're doing a lot for this relationship and they're worried that it's going to end up the same as the last one. But Pisces, you're fine. This love is coming in for you and it's really like, it's a good thing. So there's a decision that somebody else has to make and they're not sure. So maybe they're trying to figure out about this love thing or maybe they're trying to figure out about something that has to do with the money. Maybe put a future plan in play, a future goal. You're winning the battle because you're working hard. And you're winning it through your actions. You're progressing because, um, Pisces, you're continuing to move forward. You're continuing to advance. You're continuing to not let anything keep you stuck. But your mind right now is a powerful tool, Pisces. Remember, pressure makes diamonds. Pressure makes diamonds, Pisces. You're going to come out of this glowing and growing okay glowing and growing shining bright like a diamond pisces so this is your reading please like share and subscribe if it doesn't resonate with you please like share and subscribe remember to click the post bell so you get alerts when videos are posted